Okay, just wanted to get your turn. We are going lane by lane. Yes, please. I'm here. My sister, your file being recorded? No. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, I did. I wanted to thank um, Bomani um, for the trip and the way that it has been organized. Um, I want to number one thing, say that it's affordable. I think that uh, trips like this, and I've been on several trips to the continent, uh, done this well, organized this well, and be, and this full could be a lot more expensive, and he could be making a lot more money if that is what was in his heart. He could be tripling and 10 times in his money if that's what he wanted to do, but it's obvious that it's that's not his mission. His mission is not to make money. His mission is to bring us together and to bring us here and to, you know, shoot for that unity, that, that oneness for all for all African people, for the diaspora. You know, so I, I thank you, brother. It's really um, a wonderful mission, and I, I'm having a great time. Absolutely. Uh, and I am also so, I, I, the other thing I wanted to say is that we are, we're all coming together as a family and taking care of each other and looking after each other, and that comes from the top down. That's because of the energy that he's radiating, the way that he started things, the things that he puts forth that brings, that, that draws people to him, that gravitates you to Bomani. And so when you get here, you have all of these fabulous people with these wonderful energies and these great personalities because that's what he's admitting and that's what he's drawing to him. So I want to thank you, brother. I'm really enjoying myself. Yes, my sister, I appreciate your love. Where you can keep it strong. Where do you come from? Where, oh, I'm where, sorry. Where I'm, I'm from, uh, <laughs> Talia's from New Jersey. <laughs> um, well, I'm a former educator, and that's where she and I met. I'm a former educator. And my name is Romani, and I'm from Philadelphia. Married, children, grandchildren, you know, so. Ashay. Ashay. Let's put our hands together for and give an egg clap. Thank you. Okay, next person. Okay, the next person, sir. Yes, yes, please. Yeah. There is one to come up and you stop him. <laughs> yeah, he's coming. Yeah. You tell us your name, where you come from, although we know you are from Africa, but we still want to hear from you. <laughs> the, what do you do, and then uh, what brought you here? Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Horace Gillens. I'm from South Carolina, West, West Columbia, South Carolina. And uh, Glad to be here. What brought me here is uh, since I retired, I do volunteer work. And I joined the military after high school. And my first duty station after leaving home, uh, I took all my training at Fort Jackson. So my, very first, my first duty station was Fort Carson, Colorado. And roaming around the city. I, it's a big mall in, in uh, Colorado Springs, and I ended up going there one day. Anyway, I decided to walk back instead of catching the bus. And somebody yelled out the window that I had man, the N word. <laughs> and anyway, I kept on walking. And, and since I retired, so I didn't retire out of the military, but since I retired two years ago, I went out, I do volunteer work. I, I went to Texas right after Hurricane Harvey. Then I went back out there the next year to another place called Orange, Texas. Then this year I went out there 
to a little town called Vida, Texas. And I didn't realize that I, you know, I, I seen this movie where, uh, they called The Great Debaters. And it had this little section in that section, in the, in the movie where it was, had a black man that was torturing. But anyway, I, I didn't think of that. But it was something in my mind that when I was out there, I had a funny feeling within my soul. Uh, and any time, you know, something like that happened, anyway, I, I get an answer to it, because I, I just didn't feel good out there. And uh, I was walking across the parking lot with this church we stayed at, and so, some told me that the guy was going to talk to me, and which he did. And we had a little conversation. He asked me where I was from. I said, say South Carolina. And he, he said, yeah, I've been there. I've been at Fort Bragg. So I said, said to myself, I said, oh, that's North Carolina. But <laughs> anyway, he got to talking, and he, and he told me that Vida is a no black town. I said, yeah. I said, what about now? Any blacks live here? He said, no, nah, I don't. I did see two blacks down in the Home Depot, but I don't know whether they live here or not. <laughs> But uh, we got to talking. But anyway, that's as he said that. Anyway, I got to think. I said, yeah. In other words, you didn't think that I should have been there. <laughs> but anyway, that's that's what happened. And uh, this is one reason why I wanted to come see what Africa is, is all about. Okay, Kenny. Yeah, right. Okay, you see me now. Okay, and yeah, I enjoy this trip. And I seen, I watched a lot of the video before I came here and stuff, so it didn't really surprise me much, but but the people is real friendly though. Mm -hmm. I enjoy that. And there's a lot more freedom here and stuff. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about nobody like the police. <laughs> That's one thing. But I enjoyed it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay.